Greetings, everyone. Welcome back to yet another edition of Electric Avenue's YouTube updates. We're in the middle of July 2024. It's hot. We've had storms. We've lost power um, at home and at the store at different points in time. So there's been a lot going on. We had a president almost, uh, former president almost assassinated. Been a crazy week. So uh, anyway, I would just like to put all that aside and give you your moment of zen, which is music, new releases, vinyl, uh, mostly vinyl, the week of July 19th. And uh, it's been a very busy summer music-wise. We've had uh, a lot of releases and um, none like super huge blowout like Taylor Swift size releases, but uh, it's been a pretty active period. Um, from uh, what we just had uh, Fish, Nathaniel Rateliff, uh, Charlie XCX, uh, The Decemberists, um, Kings of Leon, Cigarettes After Sex, a um, bunch of Grateful Dead reissues, a bunch of Neil R Young reissues, uh, Live Joe Bonamassa, Billy Strings, um, you, Johnny Cash unreleased records. Um, you sort of name it, and we've we seem to have had it. There's a lot, a lot of stuff uh, that's been coming out. So um, let me get to this week's new releases. I guess I should point out that uh, this came in a little late, and I so I didn't show it last week. It was the John Lennon CD box set, six CDs and two Blu-rays. Runs about 160 bucks, but uh, so it's not cheap. But uh, there's a lot of music in there, and it's much cheaper than its uh, vinyl counterpart, the box set for Mind Games. Uh, $1,300, so yeah, I think for most people who want the box set, they're going to go with the CD uh, option, and there's also a two CD version and a two LP version, so uh, those are making the rounds. Um, let's see, so this week, there's only really a couple of box sets to get to, the first one being Mr. Bungle, and this is called... Uh, the quote it's called quote unquote 1991 to 1999 it's the first three mr bungle albums from mike Patton of faith no more and uh so it features mr bungle disco volante in california it's mastered by scott hall exclusively for lp from the original mix recordings some for the first time ever uh and then also features two alternate takes of interprogram material from the Mr. Bungle archives. So it doesn't go their entire career, but it's probably the, I don't know, arguably the most interesting period of their career. Um, one of the most interesting periods. And uh, three records runs around $150, but um, they're, I believe they're all double vinyl. Those albums are pretty long. Uh, and it's uh, interesting to have these mixes of them available for the first time. So. Uh, those of you who may be on the fence about that, you might want to keep that in mind. Uh, the other box set of sort of note this week, which is um, some of this stuff has been out before, if not all of it, but Dio, the complete Donington collection. Uh, for about $100, you get five records here. Uh, two LPs of uh, Live at Donington 83, two of 87, and double dose of Donington on a picture disc. So... Um, I've got a lot of glare today. Sorry, guys. Um, <clears throat> all right. And then uh, Rhino. I got, I'm going to have to talk Rhino a lot today because um, there's they've been putting out a lot of things uh, this summer. And they started a series a couple months back where um, it was direct-to-customer only. They were limited edition numbered. And they're basically audio file records, uh, certain things from the Rhino Warner catalog that... They were um, giving to top mastering uh, personnel like Kevin Gray, who does uh, all the Blue Note mass remasters, most of them, and a bunch of the OJC masters, a lot of jazz things. But he does a lot of rock, too. Um, and he's a, probably one of the top, if not the top, uh, cutting engineer right now. And um, so they were doing those direct-to-customer, and I think there was a fair amount of... Um, sort of, uh, I won't call it anger, but frustration that they weren't available through stores like ours, like independent stores. 
And so they decided to release parts of them in indie stores as exclusives. So um, you shouldn't be seeing these, I don't think, for a while, at least on either online at like Amazon or sort of like big box stores. Um, and if I don't know if they're, they're they may not be sold out. The early ones, I think, did sell out. Uh, I think that was the first Black Sabbath album, uh, television's Marquee Moon and the first Cars album. Those have not been um, shown to be reissued. And I don't know if these versions are numbered. They don't seem to be. They just say limited edition. Some have different barcodes than the other versions. So it's really kind of hard to tell what they're doing. But these are more like the um, customer versions that you can find in stores. So anyway, um, they're pressed on uh, very nice 180 gram vinyl at Optimal, which is uh, one of the best pressing plants in the world. And so the first one uh, this week, now we've already had John Coltrane's Olay and Miles Davis Tutu. The Miles title is a little like sort of off the beaten path, but the John is popular. But this one I think is gonna do very well, Grateful Dead American Beauty. And so this is, uh, it's got this nice OB strip here that they put on sort of an, a pared down American one with the little Rhino logo there. But um, these are cut from original master tapes, as I said, by Kevin Gray at Coherent Audio. So they're pretty high quality uh, sound wise, pressed at optimal with a heavyweight uh, jacket. So these are much kind of firmer, stockier jackets too. They're um, gatefold, so they're kind of like, uh, I don't know, they just feel more substantial. So there is a sort of a nice 50th anniversary of this out that Rhino was already doing. And now there's this, which ups the ante a little more. These are not break the bank expensive. They're only about $40, $41. So um, you should be able to get these fairly um, reasonably. The other one that's coming out is the Cars Candy O. So the second album. Uh, and this one features songs like Let's Go, Since I Held You. Uh, Candio and Dangerous Type. Uh, so these are the two that we're getting this week. I think there are more to come. I hope there are more to come. We need to sort of show support for these things uh, at the store level uh, because we want them to keep sending them to us. So if they, if they can do that, uh, it would be nice to see more of those uh, make the rounds here too. Uh, and I, as I said, I don't think those are numbered, but they still say limited edition. So it's really hard to know. They're still in that first wave of pressings. So uh, if you didn't get it online or you want to check it out, maybe now's the time. Uh, okay. New releases uh, this week also. Um, brand new record from Dr. Dog. This band sort of said they were ceasing touring and all, and now they're doing a few select shows around but they're based uh, sort of in the West Philly area, west of Philly, the suburbs. Uh, this album was even uh, overdubbed at, uh, Cl in Clifton Heights. Um, so anyway, um, yeah, there's uh, 11 new songs here and um, they're very popular around here. So if you're into like Wilco and bands like that, uh, you might wanna check that out. A lot of people know who Dr. Dog is already. Um, and another, uh, band who's sort of popular making another uh, record this is their first in like three years glass animals uh, i love you so effing much is the name of the record um their fourth studio album uh let's see this is uh featuring singles creatures in heaven uh a, t a tear in space uh airlock or is it a tear in space i don't know uh but anyway new glass animals record um, yeah. All right. Uh, a couple of, um, new, uh, Blue Note reissues this week from the classic series. Uh, we get Thad Jones, the magnificent Thad Jones and Cliff Jordan's Cliff Craft. Uh, these are both from the classic series both mastered by Kevin Gray at Coherent Audio, who was I uh, just talking about? How many times am I gonna say the name Kevin Gray during this video? You may be seeing it a lot, but anyway, that's four records already out of the first, what, eight things that are Kevin Gray based. 
good for him. Um, okay, so moving right along. Um, this is sort of an interesting record. We got some sliding here. Hold on. Twisters, the soundtrack, the album. Uh, so this is sort of a follow up to the Twister movie from 20 some years ago. Um, but this is a, a 29 track album, <laughs> 29 songs. So you're getting your money's worth here. Now it does sort of run 40 bucks, but uh, let's see. We've got Luke Combs, Miranda Lambert, Connor Smith, Thomas Rhett, Warren Ziders, Megan Maroney, Lainey Wilson, um, Skipping Down Jelly Roll, Tyler Childers, Leon Bridges, Benson Boone, Shania Twain, um, Lainey Gardner, uh, we've got another Jelly Roll. Um, choo -choo -choo. So anyway, Charlie, Charlie Crockett, you're getting a lot of like country, um, alt country or whatever is country now. So um, yeah, big twister soundtrack. Um, also this one, we sort of missed it last week. It came late. And uh, I think this has been very highly uh, recommended and reviewed so far. It's the debut album from Johnny Blue Skies, Pas Passage du no I can't even say it, Passage du Désir. And uh, Johnny Blue Skies is basically a pseudonym for Sturgill Simpson. So this is Sturgill's new record under a different name. Uh, it says Stoughton type tip on jacket which is really nice it's eight songs um i'm not sure if the reason it's called passage de, du desir um so it's got kind of a french title and some of the arrangements have sort of this old-timey french sound to them even though it's basically a country folk rock record so uh produced by j.s simpson um anyway eight tracks a couple of them are quite long so a new Sturgill Simpson record uh under a different name was he think he's Chris Gaines is this Garth Brooks era who's the other one that did that recently somebody else did that to uh, uh interesting effect um anyway you'll tell me in the comments uh the new album from Deep Purple uh this is called e equals one a very um not sort of nondescript cover, uh, but it's limited crystal clear vinyl. Um, let's see, includes the singles Portable Door, Lazy Sod, and Pictures of You. Um, I believe that it says the great classic sound. I was going to say it was produced by Bob Ezrin, who, uh, if you've been paying attention since the 70s and whatnot, uh, Bob Ezrin worked with like. Uh, Gen Genesis, Peter Gabriel, um, he did uh, Alice Cooper famous, famously. Um, I can't remember who else he worked with, but a lot of people. So, And I think he's worked with Deep Purple off and on for a while. So, All right, new album from Highly Suspect. And this is As Above, So Below, limited edition black and blue splatter LP. All right, new Highly Suspect record. Um, this band looks interesting to me. Parlor Greens, uh, In Green We Dream. This is on Coal Mine Records, which is uh, sort of like a soul throwback label. This says uh, Gritty Organ Jazz from Coal Mine Supergroup. And uh, yeah, it's a In Green We Dream featuring Tim Carmen, Jimmy James, and Adam Scone. All right, um, coal mine. Uh, I haven't heard from this band in a while, and uh, I don't know if these were, the, I think these are a studio. It sort of looks like it could be a live recording, but the new Ravenettes album, and this is on Glow in the Dark Vinyl. Um, this is basically uh, cover songs, um, and they cover, uh, these are the artists that they cover, the Paris Sisters, the Cramps, Dwayne Eddy and Lee Hazelwood, the Everly Brothers, the Shirelles, Velvet Underground, Buddy Holly, Graham, Parska, Graham Parsons, Vince Taylor, and the Shangri-Las. Um, they do Leader of the Pack, uh, Venus and Furs, Return of the Grievous Angel, Goo Goo Muck. Uh, yeah. 
Ravenettes have been great sort of retro duo for a long time, so that's kind of cool. New album from Los Campesinos called All Hell, uh, their reissue. Uh, I'm trying to remember the name of the album, but the pink cover, that one came out a couple weeks ago. Uh, pink vinyl. This is Lunar Rain Splatter Vinyl. New album from Los Campesinos. So a very large group. What is that? Seven people, I think. Um, always had sort of a large, uh, large roster. So uh, they've been around for, what, 20, 25 years at least. Uh, Gesaffelstein. Gesaffelstein. Uh, I'm not sure if it's Stein or Steen. Uh, Gamma, the new album. Um, this is a producer on the new Charlie XCX album. Um, starts with the song Digital Slaves. I'm not really sure what this sounds like, although I know it has quite a bit of electronica uh, mixed in the in the mix there. All right, Gasoffelstein. Uh, new George Benson album. And this is called Dreams Do Come True. George Benson meets Robert Farnan featuring the Robert Farnan Orchestra. This album was uh, apparently recorded in the late 80s, uh, and it was, uh, yeah, 89, and it went unreleased. They never put it out until now. So, uh, resurrected for your listening pleasure, discover the brilliance of George Benson's interpretations of legendary standards. So he was actually going to do this before, like, Rod Stewart took a hold of it. Uh, he does At Last, A Song For You. Uh, Love is Blue, My Romance, Autumn Leaves, uh, My Prayer, Yesterday. I don't know. George Benson, undeniable talent. That guy he's had his finger on the pulse in many different genres for a long time. Okay. This is the week that we finally get a bunch of reissues from Duran Duran. Now, uh, Rio... This album has not been in print for over 10, maybe 15 years now. You would think with all of the records being sold out there that this album would have been easy to get. It was not. And the prices were getting up around $30 to $35 for a used copy. So here you can get a new one for $27, a brand new, um, newly cut for vinyl at Abbey Road Studios. Now. The other thing to mention with this, I think, is that, um, well, first of all, it's got this cool textured jacket, um, which I don't remember from the original, but I, I do like that. But, uh, and the artwork's great. Always has been iconic. I think that this is maybe uh, the UK mix of this album, um, which Americans, it's not like you'd be completely shocked by it, but um, there are definitely some differences. American radio, they... Um, juiced a lot of the tracks, uh, added more guitar and overdubs to them um, by other musicians to kind of play to, uh, well, no, I think they did bring in Duran Duran, but it's a different co-producer um, to kind of uh, spruce things up a little bit, make it more FM radio for US. So um, this is maybe like, there's three, basically three different mixes of this album. And so I think this is the original, original. So, which is kind of like the certain thing that you get with the Beatles, too, because uh, their albums went through different changes when they came to America. Um, and also, these are the uh, 20, 2009, 2010 mixes, which I'm not really sure how they are sounding on vinyl now. This one, uh, the, the debut album, newly cut for vinyl, uh, includes Girls on Film and Planet Earth. This album also went through multiple changes and mul multiple releases. Um, this was the original photo eventually that was replaced with um, a more current photo that when they reissued it, sort of added, is there something I should know after Rio was a hit and uh, went with a more current photo. But um, this, so this is more like the original, the UK one. And uh, it does feature To The Shore, which was the song that you couldn't get on the American version at all. It also starts with Girls on Film and then goes to Planet Earth, where the American one had sort of a long version of Planet Earth first, the night version. So the rest of the album is pretty much the same. But uh, anyway, so you can get both the first two, which are iconic. You can get the third, Seven and the Ragged Tiger. This one featured... Um, the first version of the Reflex before it got 
all remixed by Nile Rodgers. Uh, also features New Moon on Monday and Union of the Snake. Um, so that was kind of their big second wave, uh, at least in the U.S., um, really the, the third wave, I suppose, in the U.K., and then uh, they sort of broke up after that. They weren't getting along. Uh, half of them made Power Station and the other half did Arcadia. And then after that, they sort of decided to reunite. Uh, didn't bring back Andy Taylor for very long. And Roger Taylor, the drummer, uh, sort of also eventually left sort of after this project was recorded. So he's not pictured on the cover, but they both played on it. So, but Notorious. And this is the album with the title track that got heavily sampled by, uh, was it Biggie Smalls or P. Diddy, one of those people? Uh, Biggie Smalls, I think. But anyway, so uh, Nick, Simon, and John were the main focus of Duran Duran. Uh, this was uh, 1986, I want to say. Uh, I think it was 86. Uh, Notorious Skin Trade and uh, Meet El Presidente were the singles on that. And uh, then the album that followed that, which this has been impossible to get on vinyl for a long time. Uh, this is Big Thing. And this one is uh, the album featuring, interestingly, they put on the sticker, Do You Believe in Shame and All She Wants Is, but they don't name I Don't Want Your Love, which was actually the big American hit from this album, was top 10 hit. Uh, so anyway, kind of the artwork got a little more graphic and a little less about the band, um, which I think what it's, uh, an artistic choice is what you call that. <laughs> All right. So five Duran Duran releases, uh, reissued this week. Now there's a whole bunch of, um, Rhino stuff, like I mentioned before, that is not affiliated with the other series, even though it's still part of the Rhino label. They're releasing a bunch of records, classic Rhino records on uh, or Atlantic, um, Electra, Asylum, on Sea Blue vinyl, Warner Brothers records. So this one, uh, CSN, Crosby, Stills and Nash, and this is the album from 1977 featuring Just a Song Before I Go and Fair Game that's on sea blue vinyl uh great photo on the back sort of a very well-known photo uh doobie brothers taking it to the streets this one features that song it keeps you running and wheels of fortune a 1975 album on sea blue sea blue color vinyl well what says summer more than blue except maybe sunshine yellow uh let's see linda ronstadt simple dreams probably one of her best albums i'd say triple platinum from 1977 includes blue bayou it's so easy and poor poor pitiful me and uh i think a lot of men love this photo <laughs> uh she'd probably agree uh little feet Time Loves a Hero on Sea Blue Vinyl. Uh, this is reissued on vinyl for the first time in over 40 years. And uh, Time Loves a Hero, Rocket in My Pocket, and Old Folks Boogie. Uh, let's see. Rod Stewart, Footloose and Fancy Free. And this features Hot Legs, You're in My Heart, and I Was Only Joking. 1977 platinum platinum album on sea blue vinyl uh yeah sort of like the complete transformation of rod from sort of his early rocker to more of a kind of a disco guy for a little while uh and war greatest hits um some really great songs on this fan favorite one lp compilation featuring low rider why Can't We Be Friends, Slipping Into Darkness, The Cisco Kid, and Summer. Uh, so, War on Sea Blue Vinyl. Um, let's see, Rhino has yet another series uh, called the Now Playing Series. And so this one, also they're doing this month on Sea Blue Vinyl. So we get Al Stewart's Best Of, which, um, I don't know, young people might not know who he is, but... 
great singer songwriter from England. Uh, this features uh, Year of the Cat and Time Passages among with uh, eight other eight other sort of prominent songs of his. Um, Hall and Oates, the sort of earlier Hall and Oates before the '80s, before they became like mega video stars, um, which you can kind of tell from the picture here. Um, yeah, John Oates in the belly shirt. Wow, he's really rocking. The, uh, anyway, uh, let's see. This features Fallen Philadelphia. She's gone. Um, what else? Uh, every time I look at you, uh, had I known you better than Las Vegas turnaround, when the morning comes, I'm sorry. So from 72 through about 74, so early, early Hall and Oates. Uh, it's amazing how they're sort of at each other's throats now, and it's been like 50 years, and all of a sudden it's like, yeah, we never got along, or we 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 don't pretend that we got along. It's like, well. You spent like almost 50 years doing music together. Uh, Utopia, another sea blue vinyl here, now playing uh, Todd Rundgren and uh, Utopia. Well, they went through a lot of different transitions too. Got a couple Philly centric albums here between Utopia and Hall and Oates. Uh, this one starts with Love is the Answer. Uh, then it's got The Very Last Time, Love in Action, Set Me Free, Caravan. Uh, I just want to touch you, Road to Utopia. Uh, goes up through Crybaby, 1984. So, looks like 77 to 84, really. Um, and one more. Now playing Sunny and Cher. And I love this photo. <laughs> it's great. Uh, sea Blue Vinyl. And this features uh, Baby Don't Go, I Got You, Babe. Sing Say La Vie. Uh, the beat goes on. And shares I walk on gilded splinters. A um, few other things, little man. Mostly uh, 1964 to 69. So, all right. So those eras are sort of covered in the now playing series. Other reissues we get this week: Heart Greatest Hits. Uh, this is early Heart, so it doesn't have the 80s Heart. It's uh, Strong Strong Wind, Magic Man. Crazy on You, Dreamboat Annie, Barracuda, Little Queen, Kick It Out, Love Alive, Heartless, Straight On, Dog and Butterfly, Even It Up, Beeble is Strange, Tell It Like It Is, This Man Is Mine, How Can I Refuse, and Rock and Roll Live. So uh, if you like the old Rocky heart before they got to be sort of the hairband heart, uh, that might be something you want to look into. Rolling Stones, number two. They keep doing this series, 180 gram black vinyl, um, classic Rolling Stones album. This one features Time Is On My Side, um, their version of Under the Boardwalk and Pain In My Heart, Suzy Q. So they're doing some covers and some originals. Um, Down Home Girl, uh, so Rolling Stones number two. All right, Typo Negative, a couple Typo Negative releases, uh, reissues. Bloody Kisses, this is the Suspended in Dusk 30th Anniversary, which is apparently a different uh, track running order. So if you see that and you want to freeze frame and look at that, um, it's a little bit different there for typo negative fans. The other typo reissue this week is Dead Again. Uh, we've had this a few times, um, but this one is uh, clear with green and white and black splatter vinyl. So green, white, and black splatter vinyl all right uh reissue from day to remember and this is the uh 15th anniversary 2lp uh, gold certified album reissue features original album plus two acoustic tracks along with nine live tracks um so there you go it was uh the best album they released in 2009 a lot of tracks all right. Um, doo -doo -doo -doo. Let's see. Oh, a couple of um, actually, there's really only one, but they've done different multiple pressings of it. Uh, Nine Inch Nails with Coil. Uh, Coil was sort of an '80s alt, very alternative band. Uh, Nine Inch Nails were very uh, inspired and influenced by and recoiled. This was a remix album that Coil did. 
of nine inch nails downward spiral in like 94, 95. Uh, this is the 10 year anniversary edition uh, of I guess what would have been um, on vinyl for the first time. This is on bone white vinyl limited to 500 copies. Nine Inch Nails remixed by Danny Hyde and Peter Christofferson includes a fuller version of Closer as featured in the film Seven. Uh, and there's, like I said, there's two of these. That one is 500 white, and this one is uh, 500 copies of uh, heavy gold vinyl. All right, so I have two choices of color, but uh, I don't think those will be around for very long when there's only 500 made. Hosier with another, uh, well, with a, I don't know, he doesn't have a lot of reissues, a reissue of Wasteland Baby, a second album. Uh, this is a special edition featuring five bonus tracks. Shrike Live, Moments Silence, Common Tongue, Why Would You Be Loved, V Acoustic, and NFWMB. So it's a 2LP edition of that, which I think it might have been anyway. I'm not really sure. Uh, but I think it was just maybe the fourth side was sort of either blank or sort of expanded. I don't know. Sleep Token, Take Me Back to Eden. This band has sort of been blowing up big. Uh, and this is, uh, if you like ghosts, it's sort of like in that sort of realm. Gold with black splatter vinyl. So it's a color vinyl pressing of Sleep Token. Uh, AFI, sort of a emo classic, I suppose. A 25th anniversary limited edition includes the B-side, Who Knew?, and the never before released weight of words on neon orange vinyl uh, says uh, this is a black sails in the sunset and it's uh, black sails is more than just an iconic punk record it was a subtle potent portent of what was to come from new noise magazine so the afi stuff doesn't stick around for very long it doesn't seem it sells pretty quick slayer uh, you got a couple Slayer reissues again. This is the Repentless Killogy, which has been out before, but this is on Amber Smoke vinyl. And then also they're putting out Repentless again, the studio record. And this is on Transparent Orange with Yellow Black Splatter vinyl. So a couple Slayer reissues. Many of you who are Slayer fans will already have these albums, but they're trying to sort of like say, but, but isn't this version cool? Um, couple of live records this week. Um, Fairport Convention, live at Rock City, Nottingham, 1987. So it's much later for Fairport Convention, but it's a two LP set. Uh, this is a veritable institution of British folk. Fairport Convention has been going strong since the mid 60s. Uh, chock full of winners, including John Barleycorn, Reynard the Fox. Uh, top tracks from Expletive, Delighted. And uh, let's see, Dave Pegg's Mandolin, Martin Alcock's Bazooki, Rick Sanders Raises the Roof on Electric Violin, Dave Maddox Drums, and Simon Nichols' Guitar, a must for all Fairport fans. Um, so I think a lot of Fairport stuff, especially live stuff, is kind of hard to get on vinyl. And then also, um, uh, of interest, Weather Report, Live in London. And this is, again, a later version of Weather Report. Uh, Weather Report's long and illustrious career had many twists, turns, and revelations. This draws on the best moments of performance delivered at the Hammersmith Odeon in June 1983 with former chic percussionist Jose Rossi, plus a take of Corner Pocket as played at the Dominion Theater one year later with Manu Sinilo, Chinilo. Mainstay Joe Zawinul maintains the ship along with saxophonist Wayne Shorter. Uh, this edition of Weather Report, driven by the frantic beats of Omar Hakim and the bass of Victor Bailey, less showy than Jocko, yet just as engaging. Um, so Weather Report went through some different changes, but they still always had really great players. I mean, Omar Hakim and Victor Bailey, Wayne Shorter, my God, so uh, and Joe Zawinul. All right, and then a couple of uh, other sort of comp type thing or final things here to wrap up with the vinyl. In the beginning, there was Rhythm. This is on Soul Jazz Records. Um, Soul Jazz does such great, like, kind of theme uh, compilations. And this is uh, their 
based out of England, but featuring Throbbing Gristle, Early Human League, being, being Boiled, A Gang of Fours to Hell with Poverty. Um, sort of like that kind of turn of the 70s and the 80s, um, sort of strife in England and uh, sort of different kinds of music that were uh, the slits that were kind of like um, sort of somehow politically a little bit sort of themed. Uh, and then one other uh, record here, Slow Pulp, Big Day, and EP2. They took two of the earlier Slow Pulp EPs and combined them into one uh, on black vinyl. So um, that's nice if you're into Slow Pulp. They kind of um, have been on the rise this year uh, as a band to watch. Uh, let's see. And, uh, well, I guess I should mention also, I think I had one more. Ah, yes. And I, uh, they've been sort of putting out, um, Living Color reissues and, uh, Stain, the third album, uh, is now out on vinyl too. So you can get Vivid, Time's Up, and Stain, uh, each one on, uh, vinyl. So, uh, there's a few CD things I have to show. Um, there's a, Story of Sid Barrett and Pink Floyd called Have You Got It Yet? It's a documentary. And uh, this, um, let's see, it's uh, got some bonus features, some Arnold Lane performances. But anyway, um, this, uh, I wondered, it's a Mercury did this. Um, I don't know how many, but this is a Blu-ray version. Oh, approximate time, two hours. So uh, if you're into Sid Barrett you want, or you want to learn more about him, uh, another big sort of release uh, that we sort of got a little bit late, but Pink uh, Purple Rain prints the 4K, uh, 4K Ultra HD version of that. Um, this has been doing very well. Everybody says the picture and sound on this are absolutely stunning. So if you have a 4K TV or player, um, you might want to pick that up just even to have it as sort of a... Uh, demonstration disc of how much or how good it can be um, this I think came out uh, as a record on record store day so here's the CD version the 50th anniversary of uh, wars world is a ghetto and this is a little CD box um, so I think three or four CDs here uh, making of um, Billboard magazine's number one album of the year from 1973 the complete sessions it's the original album plus six never bef never released bonus tracks from the sessions of the album. Uh, I think there might be more than that even. But um, yeah, that's a nice little box. Another one that came out Record Store Day that was not on CD, and now it is, is Graham Parsons. And this is uh, Graham Parsons and the Fallen Angels, the last roundup, live from the Bijou Cafe, Philadelphia, March 16th, 1973. Lots of Philadelphia and Kevin Gray talk today. Uh, let's see. And this is uh, We'll Sweep Out the Ashes, My Uncle, Drugstore, Truck Driving Man, Streets of Baltimore, et cetera, et cetera. Um, I heard that this was um, the recording quality was sort of a mixed bag, but because of the performances alone that this is very highly worth getting. Uh, some people really love that record, so... Uh, very, and one of the most popular Record Store Day things I think I had. Steve Harley and Cockney Rebel. Uh, Steve just passed away recently. And this is a little box set um, featuring uh, the best years of our lives, definitive edition. And it has uh, a live, a couple live, uh, full live performances, um, or mostly full. I think there's like 14 live tracks. Uh, but it has this uh, album and it features Make Me Smile. Come Up and See Me, his iconic song that uh, Duran Duran covered early on in their career as a B-side. Uh, and also Chris Kane, uh, his new album on CD here, Good Intentions Gone Bad, Blues Guy, uh, Alligator Records. So, all right. Whew, I felt like I was under a lot of pressure to get through that stuff fast. Last week it was 46 minutes. This week we're already pushing 40, so... The stress, guys. There's too many things to show you. <laughs> All right. I hope you enjoyed this one. Um, you know, it's been a great summer, but it's been sort of short. I keep wondering when it's going to get fun. Because <laughs> it hasn't really been fun around here yet. So um, a lot of tragedies and uh, 
bad weather events and all that. So I hope yours is more fun. I have friends who've been to Puerto Rico, who are traveling in England, who are like, you know, getting out and seeing the world. So um, do that. And it's not like I didn't do that a little, but uh, you know, you got to sort of stop and enjoy life sometimes and uh, listen to the music. Whoa. <laughs> all right. Take care, guys. Thanks. Have a great weekend. I'll see you next week. The 26th is another fairly big week. What do we have? Oh, the police box set next week and the deluxe versions of Synchronicity. Uh, Talking Heads, Stop Making Sense. The reissue of the record that went out of print last year is coming back along with the CD, deluxe CD version of that and the tribute album uh, with other people doing Stop Making Sense. Uh, there's Grateful Dead, Shakedown Street and Go to Heaven. Those will be coming in. New album from Empire of the Sun, um, Blur Live, Morrissey Live, uh, Olivia Rodrigo, Guts, the expanded cool vinyl edition of that. Um, yeah. So Deluxe, Warren Zevon, albums from Bill Callahan and Colts. Um, and we're not even talking August yet. I remember first week of August, Ween, Chocolate and Cheese deluxe edition so all right i'm calling this video thanks thanks so much for your support give me a thumbs up if you want no i never ask for that i'm not gonna ask for that i take it back don't give me a thumbs up do what you want all right peace <laughs>